All right, so we've gotten our store pretty much set up with a few products. We've got some variations, some attributes. We're well on our way to getting our store up and running. Of course, this may not be the layout you actually want. So in this section of the course, we're going to talk about WooCommerce layouts and widgets. So I'm here on the Purpleville homepage, and you can tell that it's the standard WordPress homepage with a blog post and the Hello World post. Let's change that up and we'll make the storefront our home page. Head back over to your back end. And let's go to settings and reading. If you've been around WordPress for very long, you probably know how to do this. Click on static page, take the home page and change it to shop. That's it. Can't get much simpler than that. Click save changes. And now let's take a look at the home page of our site. And there we have it. We have our three products right there on our home page, and that's actually looking pretty good. When we make this change, we'll have lost the blog post on the front page. If we still want to write blog posts, we can do it pretty simply. Back over on the dashboard, we'll go to pages. And let's create a new page called News. Click Publish. Go back to Settings and Reading. And the Post page we'll put as our News page. Click Save Changes. All right, so then on our home page, we've got the shop. And now we've got a News page that's going to list our blog posts. All right, heading back to our home page then. Let's edit this page so it gives us a slightly better layout. We can change the way this shop page looks back over in the pages section. You'll see the shop page, which is the front page and the shop page. Let's click edit. And let's add some text to this front page of the store. Hi, welcome to the store. Click Update, head back over to our home page, and now you'll see, hey, welcome to the store. So you can see how easy it is to go ahead and create some changes for your site. In the next video, we'll talk about how to actually change the shop display so it does exactly what you want it to do.